Nos County Talk, I'm going to be doing a match review for what is quite an unbelievable result really, isn't it? We've beat Barnet 5-0 on the opening day. Some, by the signs of it, obviously me and Tom weren't there today. Incredible football. Um, I'll quickly say me and Tom are on holiday uh, this week. Bad timing. We are back for Torquay. Uh, but I was listening to the game throughout and I can't not listen to it while I'm away. And... Um, it just sounded like in that second half, we were so ruthless, absolutely ruthless. You know, we didn't switch off. We wanted goals, goals, goals. And all the players that you sort of wanted to score today scored. So it's always good. Um, before I go on to talk about the game, obviously me and Tom gutted that we couldn't make it today. I just want to talk about the fans. I mean, it took well over 1,000 fans to Barnet. You know, it's, it's London. It's quite quite the journey. And they were so loud. Obviously, I was listening to it on the BBC radio Um through Sl with Slater and you could hear them singing for that whole second half you could just hear them absolutely singing the place down uh, giving Harry Kewl some as well which you love to hear after his short stay at Knotts um, so yeah credit to the fans today the Knotts fans have travelled absolutely brilliant I travelled in huge numbers and <clears throat> you almost feel proud to be a Knotts fan today uh, the fans the players the staff everything I, it's the first game of the season I know that's like carried away but you know it's quite almost emotional to see Robert score as well, but um, I'll talk about the game as well a little bit. That first half, I think we were obviously, it seemed like that first half we were unlucky not to, to, to score. I feel like we we were the team on top from, from what Slater and Stahl were saying. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's exciting for me uh, to be hearing how many chances we're creating because at one point last season, it was a problem how, how much we were creating and... You know, so many chances created today. I think within the first half, Roberts had had three or four attempts on goal and that's just one player, you know. We were struggling to have a shot on target, you know, in 90 minutes a couple of games last season. So it's incredible that we're starting the season with a manager that everyone seems to be behind and he's playing great football, creating lots of chances, getting in the positions we need to be in. And I, I can't really credit Bertrand enough for what he's done in quite a short space of time. So, you know, fair play to him, absolute credit to him. And uh, the selection today, I, I think, you know, probably if you were guessing it off what we've seen last season, adding a couple of players in uh, that we've signed, it's, it's nothing far away from what I think we're expecting to see. You know, Francis, I feel like he's going to be our holding mid now this season. Um, Palmer, sounds like he had a good game as well, very good. And, uh, you know, the three front men, well, the three key players for me up top, you've obviously got... Roberts, Ruben and Morton, who all scored today. Ruben obviously gets two. Um, <laughs> I'd say he was gutted as well when we, get the, when we got the penalty, with him being our sort of penalty taker. A few minutes after he goes off, not to get a penalty, and he'd have been gutted not to get his hat-trick. But, you know, still credit to him today to get two goals off the mark. You know, he's going to have that fire in his belly for the rest of the season now, and he's going to feel confident. Same for Roberts. And I'm absolutely, more than any other player, I'm so glad Wotton scored and got off the mark today because he, he's one of those players. Now he's got that goal, it's sort of, it, it, it'll give him that sort of confidence and he doesn't have that anxiety of, oh, I need to get my first goal. So I'm absolutely over the moon that Wotton got his first goal. And um, O'Brien setting it up for him on a plate as well. So well done today to everyone, everyone that was there. And it's good to see O'Brien to get on the score sheet as well. Um, he comes on, I said it, in pre-season, he, he's going to be a key player for us this season. Um, I mean, I would have liked to seen him start, I think, but you, you know, you can't you can't rule him out being a, an impact sub, which he was today. You know, he's come on, he's got an assist, and he's got a goal. What more can you ask from a sub? So yeah, I mean, what a start to the season for Knotts. What a statement win. You know, you look around at the teams that you're expecting to win, and they've not done very well today. Stockport. I mean, what a shock that is. So you know, it feels. I mean, it's it's easy to feel confident when you start start the season five and up, but it feels extremely confident and positive at the moment for Knotts. I am so excited to go to Torquay. You know, me and Tom are going to try and cover as many away games as we can this season. Um, this is sort of the last review that I'll do straight after full time. We are going to start doing reviews uh, later on on Saturday evening lives, or obviously at the if we're at the games, we'll be doing our normal normal game match day stuff. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't resist doing a video today. Obviously, I, like I'm gonna say, I'm on holiday, but I couldn't resist listening to the to the entire game and what a listen it was. You know, unbelievable. I'm over the moon. I'm sure everyone else is. And yeah, not much 
left to say on that really as well before i finish clean sheet fantastic start fantastic start couldn't get any better could it five nil uh, so yeah thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and uh, comment how you felt today if you were there as well let me know what the atmosphere was like because it sounded amazing on on the commentary so yeah thanks for watching guys